Hey there, what's going on? My name is Bessie Pinda, and in this video, we'll be creating this custom radio button using only HTML and CSS. All right, so let's dive right into it. Here, I'm gonna create the index.html file, and then followed by that, the style.css file. There we go, and then in index.html, I'm gonna create the HTML boilerplate, and for the title, custom radio button, and then down below right here, the tags for this custom radio button is going to be a label for radio 1. And then within that, just going to be an input with the type of radio and an ID of radio 1. And for the name, I'm going to keep it radio. There we go. And then a span with a class of ball. And then I'm going to duplicate it down below once again. And it's going to be for radio 2. There we go. And now if I run this in live server, Okay, so this is how it is all going to look. So I also need to link this to a style.css file. And then in a style.css, get a body and display this as great. And then place the items to the center. And then a minimum height of 100 vertical height. There we go. Okay, so I need to actually wrap both of these within a container. If you're using VS Code, Control, Shift, and P, then image wrap individual lines with abbreviation then hit enter and type div hit enter once again and now you can see they are side by side and back into style.css i'm gonna choose the label here and then add a width of like let's say 30 pixels and a height of 30 pixels here uh, actually i'm gonna display this as inline block for now so display that as inline block and then for the border i'm gonna go with two pixels solid blue violet there we go. And also we need to add a border radius here as well, 50%. So they're both circle. There we go. And then within the label, and that it's gonna have a width and height. This should be obviously uh, less than this one, okay? So I want to make it a little bit dynamic so that when I change the width and height of the label, the ball gets changed automatically. And how we do that, is I'm gonna add a width and calc, so 100% minus like eight pixels, let's say. And then similarly for the height as well. And make sure to display this as inline block as well because this ball here, it is a span, okay? So I'm gonna display this as inline block, okay? So we know that spans are inline elements and displaying that as an inline block causes that the width and height gets applied to that. So blue violet, there it is. And then the input element that's living within this label, we don't want it anymore because we are creating a custom radio button for that. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. So label and then input, I'm gonna set this opacity to zero. Now it is invisible. Excuse me, I'm gonna display this as none. So it just goes off from the top. There we go. So then I just need to actually center this within uh, this circle right here. But before that, I also, need to add a border radius of 50% for this so it is totally circle and then right here for the label I'm going to display this as flex justify content to the center and align items to the center now you can see that they are both right at the center and now they are stacked on top of each other and um, what I can do is that I can get the div and then display this as flex there we go and then for the label right here, I'm going to add a margin of like, let's say one rim. I'm going to zoom this out a little bit so you can see how it's going to look. Uh, or actually, I'm going to say margin right one rim. So it's not a total of two rim. Okay, so there it is. This is how it is all going to look. And now uh, for the ball or uh, this one right here, what I'm going to do is that I'll set its opacity to zero. So initially it's not visible, but when the input is checked, we want this to be visible and have an opacity of one. And how we can do that? Very easy. There is the input. So we're going to say when it is checked, plus we're going to get this uh, sibling element, by the way. And then the ball is going to have an opacity of one. There we go. And now if I click on that and click back and forth, you can see that it's being checked. You can actually go back into index.html and add a default one of checked right here. So uh, by default, one of those are gonna be checked. Okay, so that is it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification for more videos. 
Thank you for watching.